Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle! And as requested, I'm covering Gatling Plasma for Gatling Plasma Guide. And as always, we'll go step by step everything you need to know. Therefore, we are starting how to get one. Unfortunately, there is no guarantee legendary that you can get anywhere about the non-legendary and random legendary weapons. You can drop them from high level areas when you fight high level enemies. Therefore, it's totally random RNG based. The plan you can find as well randomly in the world high level areas. But there is a way to buy that. The downside for that is it's deep inside White Spring Bunker, which means you will need to complete Enclave Questline to unlock access. After you unlock access to Armory Terminal, you will find both the standard Gatling Plasma weapon that can be purchased directly in here and plans. Under notes, you can see Gatling Plasma. It will cost you about 4k caps and that with really high charisma. If you don't have really high charisma, it will be even more expensive. Therefore, yeah, it is not a cheap plan, but you probably need it as the only way you will unlock modifications for Gatling Plasma is scrapping Gatling Plasma weapons. Therefore, either you obtain them randomly in the world or you obtain a lot of resources to craft those weapons and then scrap them. Now about crafting of this weapon, you will need Science Master rank 2. In addition to that, I would recommend to equip Science Expert rank 2 as well, because this perk reduces crafting cost of Gatling Plasma, and crafting of this gun is quite expensive without it. On top of that, if you do plan to use this weapon or change it into Legendary later, make sure that you use the Respect Machine boost your intelligence as far as you can, because that affects durability of the crafted weapons. You can find this weapon after you learn plan in heavy guns category. Gatling Plasma is in here. Of course, if you craft it just for scrapping, make sure to craft level 30 to do not overpay. And if you craft it in order to change it into legendary, make sure it's level 50. And here you can see exactly the cost with science expert rank to equip. Therefore, it is a reduced cost. Now about the modifications. First, we are starting from the receiver. You have two options. You can keep standard or prime receiver. And here I would strongly recommend you to go for prime receiver. As you can see, that's a huge damage boost. And in case of this weapon, ultra side plasma cores are rather cheap. I will show you in a second. Next about the barrel, you have two options, rifle barrel or standard. I would recommend to go for rifle barrel as this is reducing the recoil and recoil is the biggest downside of this weapon. After that, we have magazine and there is no option to choose from and sight. Here you can go for reflex sight or standard sight. Unfortunately, going for the reflex sight makes it much harder to aim down the sight with this weapon. Let me quickly demonstrate in here the difference. That's the aiming down the sight. First person, no reflex sight. As you can see, it doesn't cover too much screen and you still have this crosshair if you have it activated in-game options, then yeah, it's easy to aim. If you shoot, the crosshair stays steady. What's good? Now, if you use reflex sight, if you use reflex sight, you aim down the sight, you still have the crosshair, but the downside is, look how it's jumping everywhere and it cover more of the screen. In my opinion, it's harder to aim. The accuracy improvement is negligible. Therefore, I would recommend not to use it, to be honest. Now about the beam options, you can go for a beam focuser that gives you extra range, accuracy and better recoil. I usually recommend to go for this one or you can go for a beam splitter that changes the weapon into kind of a flamer, into a poor flamer. There's a damage improvement, but in my opinion, not worth it. The only reason people are using Beam Splitter are legacy Gatling Plasmas. And what I mean by that, Gatling Plasma with explosive legendary effect that no longer drops in the game, but was heavily duped in the past. Therefore, there is quite a bit of those weapons on the market. I do not recommend using legacy as it feels like a cheat mode, but if you have one, 
you should know that the beam splitter multiply the damage of this legacy weapon by a lot. Standard nozzle, there is one reason to use standard nozzle. To keep original green projectiles all the time, you want standard nozzle. If you change it to beam focuser, unfortunately, projectiles have red splash. I will show you. You saw before me using this gun with normal nozzle. Now, after installing the focuser, you see, there is red. Red projectile impact animation instead of green. Then that can be important for you if you care about visuals. Then I think I should mention that. If you don't care, the focuser is good. Now about the ammo and ammo crafting. If you want to craft plasma cores, it does cost plastic, nuclear material, lead and copper. Although you are very likely to find regular plasma cores in the world or on the enemies, which means it's very unlikely you will actually need to craft them. Although it is possible that it will happen, you will get one plasma core without any perks. And that's the cost. Now, an important part is ultra side plasma cores. As you can see here, you will craft two ultra side plasma cores with one pure yellow cake flux. That's without the perks. And it will use two regular cores. It does say it uses two regular cores, but what I notice, it seems to be bugged out. If you use the higher quantity to craft at once, it seems to be consuming just one core, regardless how many ultra side cores. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be like that, but plasma cores, you will not need too many for this crafting. What you need is yellow cake flux. And of course, you can boost it with your perks. If you use legendary and regular perks to use the quantity, you can get up to nine cores per one flux. And as well, make sure to craft them with high intelligence as that will result in your cores being overcharged. Unfortunately, you will never see 500 rounds per core like you can see in here. That is only possible when you play on the custom world and you switch infinite ammo on. Why is that happening? I think there is a bug that prevents you from crafting 200% charge cores, which results in your maximum capacity around 360 per plasma core. What's still really good though. Now more about the weapon, but before I will tell you anything more, you should probably know that that's the build I'm using for the showcase, therefore the weapon damage is boosted by all the perks that I do have equipped in here and by my mutations that are, as you can see, on this page. And weapon by itself, like weapon by itself, it's one of the best heavy guns. You cannot go wrong with Gatling Plasma. It's a very good weapon. The biggest downside, of course, it's a spin-up weapon, therefore it will not fire instantly, but there's even more upsides. Really good damage output, really good ammo efficiency because it does use cores that are relatively cheap to craft, really high fire rate, especially if you have extra fire rate on second star, amazing range, 228, one of the best from all the weapons. Accuracy, it's okay. The recoil is rather bad. The weight, it's a heavy weapon. It's 27 pounds. 2.7 is with 90% weight reduction that I have on me. Now about the legendary effects. I would recommend anti-armor as absolutely the best choice. If you want, you can go, of course, for vampire to get ultimate healing whenever you fight. About the second star, faster fire rate or damage while aiming, it's great. And about the third star, you don't need to worry too much about the third star. There is nothing game breaking. Use whatever you will be able to get. In case you have a legacy version, which means explosive on the second star, you are already good and you don't need any advice. Whatever you do with legacy, it will be too powerful. Now, combat with this weapon. One tip that I can give you on the start, especially if you are fighting bosses, use this weapon in first person. And why I say in first person? Because in first person, if you aim downside and fire, I'm intentionally firing up now, even if some enemy will try to stagger you, as you can see this doggo now, your fire will not be interrupted. Like, whatever stagger goes your way, you will be able to, like, avoid avoid it, I mean not fully avoid it, there will be like a stagger animation, but you keep firing, therefore 
first person aiming down the side is like the way to go. On normal enemies, of course, hip fire is easier. Uh, hip fire seems to be like better recoil wise. It's way easier to control recoil if you just hip fire this weapon. Of course, stabilize help greatly with that. But that's the most important for the weapon use case. But down the side, whenever you fight bosses. I know those are not bosses, I'm just demonstrating. And now, where this weapon struggles, flying enemies that are rather far away from you. As you can see here, the projectiles have visible travel time. There is a high recoil. And even though accuracy is quite okay, adding the recoil and travel time of the projectiles, if enemy is far away and moving, it's pretty difficult to be consistent with hitting your target. It is possible, it's not easy. And about the reload, is quite slow, what's downside as well. I couldn't unfortunately show you, as for whatever reason, reload bug out on my custom world. Most likely because I don't actually have any cores in my inventory. It's not happening in the normal world, therefore it's not important bug. Uh, I probably should mention there is some custom words. And as you can see, of course, the damage is amazing. The damage of this weapon, it's something you will not get disappointed about. And that will be probably everything you need to know about Gatling Plasma. Let me know if I missed something important. If you still have any questions, I will be there in the comments section. I will be checking and I will do my best to answer as many questions as I can. I never guarantee that I answer every single one. It's not, not happening. But I answer a lot. I answer a lot. And now as always, thank you a lot for checking out this video. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next one.